everyone. Justin Crumley here with the Cujo Productions channel. Welcome to another edition of Cujo Productions Sports Talk. Uh, wow. <laughs> Big news coming out of the MLB. Um, obviously, the title of this video is about Wade Davis being traded to the Cubs. I'll get to that in just a second. Uh, first, I want to address, uh, touch on a little bit of the, the Chris Sale trade. Uh, yeah, he's going to Boston. He's a Red Sox, following the path of Jake Peavy, sort of. Um, yeah, uh, I, I don't really have a lot to say about this. Uh, Chris Sale going to the uh, to the Red Sox, big news. Uh, as a Tigers fan, I'm glad I don't have to watch my team deal with this guy anymore. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's always good. Chris Sale is definitely one of the better pitchers in the American League. Uh I am curious to know how those prospects are going to work out for Chicago, though. So, yeah, that's my brief touch on uh, the Chris Sale deal. Let's talk about Wade Davis to the Chicago Cubs for, um, what is it, uh, George Soler? Jorge Soler? George Soler? I, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm going to go with, like, Jorge Soler. Uh, so I don't want to hear it in the comment section, you know, that I pronounced his name wrong. You heard me try to pronounce it different ways. Um, I don't have a lot to say about uh, about uh, Solar or Soller. Um, he had a he posted a two thirty eight average and twelve homers. Uh, two thirty eight average ain't all that great. Um, twelve home runs isn't that that's not bad. You know, I, I don't think home runs are everything. Uh, but the 238 average definitely uh, would kind of bug me a bit if I were a Royals fan. Uh, but let's talk about Wade Davis. He, uh, in 2016, went 2-1 and one with an ERA of 1.87. Um, he had 27 saves, 43.1 innings pitched, only gave up 33 hits, no home runs, and 16 base on ball. So definitely one of the more prominent relief pitchers in the entire MLB. He's a dominant closer. Uh, was really hoping the Tigers would make a bid for him, but oh well, didn't happen. So yeah, um, I guess you could say uh, Noah Rolls Chapman, no problem for Chicago anyway. Uh, Wade Davis, anyone who's watched him, is one of the most dominant closers. You heard me list his numbers from uh, last year. Uh, 27 saves is no small feat. I'm not sure how many save situations he had last year, so I'm not going to make any kind of estimate on that. But uh, he had a good ERA, uh, 1.87 is great ERA for a pitcher. Uh, not giving up a single home run, which a closer shouldn't be giving up anyway. But um, the previous year, 2015, he gave up three. So uh, that's an improvement. In 2015, he also had 20 base on balls. And in 2016, he only had 16. So some... Uh, Pretty good improvement there. Uh, I think Chicago is getting a great, great closing pitcher. And uh, wow, uh, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't think they'd bring a Roldis Chapman back because I, I've heard reports that he's asking for like ridiculous amount of money. Um, I've heard he's looking for like an eighty, eighty million dollar deal or something above that. I, I don't know. I don't know for sure, so don't quote me on that. But um, I didn't think the Cubs would get him back. Uh, again, Aroldis Chapman, one of the best closing pitchers in the MLB, holds the record for uh, the, the fastest fastball ever thrown. So, uh, yeah, he's definitely a premium. Uh, as for uh, Wade Davis, though, I, I honestly, I think this is an upgrade. I think Wade Davis, and believe me, as a Tigers fan, I've seen enough of this guy, <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad he's jumping not only to another team, but to the National League. Uh, I don't know if the Tigers are going to play the Cubs uh, this this next coming MLB year, um, so I don't I don't really know. I hope they don't. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, I think the Cubs definitely ran away with this one. I don't know a whole lot about uh, Jorge Soler. Um, let me uh, redo that. Uh, Jorge Soler, yeah, Jorge George Soler. I don't know a whole lot about this guy, uh, other than his 238 average and 12 homers. Um, so uh, there's probably some potential there. He might be young, a prospect. I don't know a lot about him, so I can't say for sure if the Royals 
uh, scored a big name prospect, but I can tell you right now the Cubs have definitely scored a damn good relief pitcher. And the Cubs, well, we may be looking at the beginning of something special. Uh, besides the fact that they broke their 108-year drought. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You've heard my opinion on this. I want to know your opinion. Whatever you think, throw it in the comment section below. And I'm also curious, does anyone else have any information on uh, George or Jorge Soler? I'm just, Soler. Anybody else have any uh, 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 information on him? Uh, again, I don't want any crap about how I mispronounce his name. I just want to know more about him. Do you think the Royals did a good thing here? Are you looking at them and going, what the hell did you do? What have you done? Um, you know, I can't say for sure because I don't know a lot. So, yeah, uh, throw it in the comment section below. I'm curious to know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Check out my Red Bubble page. Check out my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Links to all that is in the description below. Have a great day. If you're not having a great day, I hope it gets better. Until next time, I'm Justin Crumley, and this is Cujo Productions, signing out.